All right, it is week seven of Season of the Deep, and we can go ahead and earn the Aquanaut title. Now, like I say, every single video, uh, this, these videos are very long. I try my best to explain everything. I don't really show much, but hopefully my words can be visually enough. Um, now, as always, these title, to earn this title, uh, you need to own the season pass. Plus, you're going to have up until the last uh, season and the end of the expansion of Lightfall up until the new one, which will be the final shape. This is all the time you have. But luckily, uh, from what I can tell, based off my knowledge, uh, this title has no time gates. It, you can get this technically in one day if you decide to grind. But I don't recommend that, obviously. There's no point in doing that. But it is possible to not have to wait weeks to get this unlocked. So that's good at least to my knowledge so let's start off with the first thing which is very simple it is going to be the seasonal story for this season which is into the depths weekly wet work now as always you're going to go ahead and do the intro quests either that you spawn in with it or you probably head to the helm and go ahead and queue it up somewhere over here and then you'll do the weekly quest blah 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 and then just follow the story. There's going to be seven, uh, six weeks of content. Now, it's a bit hard to explain this, but whenever you have to go ahead and talk at the, uh, after you talk to Sloan with the fish, uh, you do that six times. And that is pretty much what a weekly quest is. So six rotations of that, talking to Sloan every single time at the end, pretty much. And that's it. That's pretty simple stuff. Uh, I recommend while doing uh that quest line i would try to use um seasonal weapons that you can earn in the helm uh as you will need those some kills with those weapons in the future all right next up we're gonna go ahead and head over to the next one which is gonna be a bit longer now because it is gonna be unlocking all the bonuses from the seasonal challenges so what that means is that when you go ahead and head over to your seasonal quests here so i open that up if i can open it it's gonna kick me out i gotta wait for this animation real quick open it up like so and we head over here to your quests and it'll be a new tab here seasonal this is brand new this is new for the season and this is all the challenges here that you need to do in order to get that one triumph that's those 10 things for one triumph so even though there's 10 triumphs for the title you get also these 20 20 challenge uh, 10 challenges i mean here so 20 in total technically the first one's very easy deep challenger that one is just doing that's just passively done then we have deep armor focusing so this one here uh, uh you can get armor from just doing the seasonal activity like salvage and deep dive but what you can do when you start earning some engrams if you don't, if you don't want to worry about this too much you can just go ahead over here and um you can go into this focusing and you can do this here and this should be open i'm pretty sure is this will give you a random armor drop so you can pretty much just finish this by doing that or just playing activities and getting lucky as they drop randomly then next up we have is obtain the weapon so like like similar to the armor one you can still do this as well if you have engrams you can just um just get the random ones like this it's it's both of these so there's 12 in total and both i'm pretty sure counts so if you as long as you get six in total here which i mean you, you'd be playing a lot of deep dives and salvages you'll get that done passively i would assume it but if you don't have them then i mean redeem the engram if you don't have it yet then we have reach rank seven in the sonar station and reach rank 13 as well um these you don't have to worry about too much uh just because uh eventually you're gonna have to go ahead and reset your rank for one triumph for your title so you'll get this done passively um to earn a rep uh you get a lot more rep when you open up a salvage or deep dive chest but you increase uh having getting more if you have a key for it so if you open if you do a salvage or you do a deep dive and you have a key for that activity you will get a lot more rep fishing 
blah 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 and also as getting armored pretty early on is very important you want to make sure that just right before you redeem fish or you redeem the chest before you want to go ahead and put on the armor so like put on so the one with sonar amplifier the seasonal armor so put on at least four of them and that will make sure that you'll get the max bonus for getting more rep at 12 percent right that is where you want to make sure every time before you claim a chest and solve it before you claim a chest and deep dive swap to the armor make, make if you want to do it fast put make it a loadout if you want to and then uh you are good to go there so just make sure before you put fish in before you get a chest uh put in put on armor for the season one last thing for this is that you can also get a little bit more of a rep boost if you get some levels in season pass at level 70 you get 10 percent. so i think it's 20 24 20 32 so 32 you get five percent extra sonar rep and then at 70 you'll get five percent so then there's 10 percent bonus rep there and then let's go ahead to the next one here we're gonna have catch fish this one people have been saying it's bugged and even yeah the uh the twib a twid this week in destiny uh also mentioned uh, that it's not working correctly um so i can tell you how to finish this from my experience um i've gotten if, if you have dim you can check if you have gotten over and i, I can't really show it right now but i have 64 out of 25 that is how much i've gotten ask that now I, I could get a lot more now the reason why is this is because so what we need to do is that when every time you catch a legendary or somebody else catches a legendary during the during your session fishing before a public event spawns uh or exotic when you get a perfect catch it gives you some a bonus for focus fishing and then exotic gives you a bit more so the more people who keep catching the fish uh you'll eventually get to the max meter i forget what it says but it'll tell you why when it's maxed out now one important thing about this is that um it's not from my experience it's not based off of when you catch it it goes up by one it's when you pick it up so a lot of people when they fish you know usually they just fish 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 and don't pick anything up until the public event spawns if you pick up the fish even if you had max uh max focus fishing and a public event this in the public event appears it actually it removes that uh, it removes it that buff right of max fishing so when you pick up the fish now it doesn't count towards efficient anglers so you gotta you have to pick up it, it's misworded it says catch fish but you have to actually pick it up so from my experience this is what actually increased it for me i've done a people say titan strand would increase it or would work but i did it on titan on strand before it did work but i also did a hunter without it so i don't know so that's that seems to be where i'm at with this one it is i guess bugged but uh for me i've gotten more than 25 so by picking up fish when it's max focus and don't wait for a public event pick it up as soon as you see it, it should it should increase all right next up we have is this one is passively done i i just got it by accident by doing it in the first week uh deep sight salvaging so this one um it was a it was a weekly rotation or weekly thing or better to say it took two weeks for the bosses to change but it seems to be random uh from my experience i was able to get both bosses in one week recently so i would say that it's possible to get two different bosses but i always see the uh, hive night one more often than the uh, skirt of the deep i don't know why but it's just random i guess then similar to this one uh the deep dive one where the boss at the end of deep dive there's three different bosses i get jaws a lot and i get kelgarath a lot i barely get kudazad that often but i have gotten multiple different ones during the week so it is possible to get all three in one week if you want to but from my experience seems to be uh, not great but uh with the hive wizard but it's just keep playing you'll get them eventually then we have dive station this one uh people say it was bugged or i don't know it didn't work correctly, but I got this during week two when we got to the second encounter, which apparently counts as abyss death, but abyss death should be the third encounter, but just doing a deep dive should get this unlocked automatically. So 
Uh, that shouldn't be anything to worry about. And that's it. I should be all 10 there. And I get to, that gets to the one triumph. And we're just on second triumph. But the rest should be pretty simple. Uh, where are we at here? Over here. All right. So now that's done. Challenge is accepted. Next we have is echo relocation. So like I've said or explained earlier, but I'll explain it again. Uh, this is going to be resetting your render rank in the helm here. Now, the best ways to do this is making sure that you have uh, salvage keys and salvage and deep dive keys. And when you, when you redeem them in a salvage activity or deep dive, you'll get a lot more ex, uh, rep instead of having zero keys. And before you redeem the key, make sure you put on the armor to get you more rep. It will the you will get rep as soon as you open the chest. So pick putting these armor on twelve uh, four pieces of armor you get twelve percent extra, which you a lot more rep. And it just takes a bit of time. Plus fishing as well. Uh, if you fish a lot, um, excuse me. Uh, you put on armor before you dunk the fish. You get more a little bit extra rep, and that's up until one thousand. Uh, not one thousand rank legend, which is a thousand, but then it's fifteen hundred for mythic three. So it, gets, it ramps up. Uh, make sure when you're about to reset, don't forget that you have to redeem everything. So if you're uh, if your golf balls, your Senate shards or max, and your uh, other one, the, the the new one, I forgot what's called Descendant Alloy. I don't know. What, I think that's what's called. I don't remember. But that uh, make sure you have room for that. Uh, if not, then you cannot redeem it. So just make sure you uh, collect all the rewards in there. It's not bugged. It's just scuffed way to do it then we have defeat targets with season of deep weapons so any of these weapons over here uh that's why that's why i said at the beginning of the video make sure you use a weapon pick one that you like and use it up until you finish the triumph and then use it, never use it again any of these triumphs here uh our guns here it's 600 kills in total i would not focus like going to like i don't know shiroji or going to uh what do you call it uh, the avarice dungeon i would just use a weapon up until you fit a triumph so you'd, you'd be playing a lot of deep dives you'd be playing a lot of salvages in total to get your rep up i would recommend obviously doing that and using weapons while doing those all right that's 600 kills in total for that triumph and then we have big fish this is this is weird because it's also a challenge, right? I'm really explain this right. So these rotate. They don't rotate. They just happen to be random. I've gotten them, uh, right, both in the same week. Uh, so I just gotta get lucky. I f usually get the high one more than uh the skirt or the deep. Similar to this one, same thing. You can get you can get all three in the same week. It's just random when you do a deep dive. Uh, I get jaws and Kelgolath Kelgorath pretty often. But high boys are not so much. So it's just random. Hopefully you get lucky. But you'll be doing a lot of these if you don't get your rep up and get some weapons and stuff. But other than that, you can get these done in one day if you want to. Then we have complete a deep dive of pressure trials on each encounter. So this one, I, I could post a video that I've made explaining this. So I can briefly explain what this means here. So during deep dive, uh, there's three encounters, of course. And there's going to be a Tolan orb, right? a white orb that spawns in the beginning area of the map. And everybody in the fire team has to go ahead and interact with that orb. And it'll spawn in a darkness invocation. There's three, three different types. There's going to be a blight one. Uh, there's going to be a blight plate one with the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but remove the darkness. Uh, and then there's going to be a blight ball uh, that floats in the sky and destroy them. So those three, as long as the people get confused a little bit because you have to see what well, to finish those darkness invocations it will have to say it sometimes you're like oh we interacted with tolan but it didn't work we get, gotta make sure that you do it until it says darkness invoked that's the main thing about it all right and so each encounter has a spot for that and what happens is that once you do darkness invocation you do the the random encounter in the uh, first second and third and after that there will be an extra encounter extra boss at the end to do while that while your timer is still ticking down so it's, it's a bit hard to explain but i have a video showing it and explaining it and showing gameplay so uh just you can watch that if you need extra help with that but you have to get you do the toll and orb three times in all three encounters to get tier seven rewards and that will get you pressurized deep 
this one here we have quantity over quality this one's 150 fish uh fishing is pretty easy to do uh it's not that hard to get this one done um i have 600 fish in total almost uh and uh, any fish any pond 150 it sounds like a lot but you need to get the bait if you don't know where the bait is it's in your inventory you, got, you get it after week one uh, first quest rotation uh and you get bait by doing pretty much anything uh by uh the salvage deep plus anything right uh the you will get a pass if you're doing a lot of salvage and a lot of deep dives you're gonna get a lot of bait so uh up to you what order you want to do this if you want to farm salvage or deep dives uh you'll get a lot of bait to finish 150 pretty easily to do so and it gives you a good rep as well it just it's just like a nice uh, slow down rep kind of dealio just if you want don't want to do anything just relax and uh start fishing pretty much all right next up we're almost done here i not equipped it by accident we have catch an exotic fish this one it's just rng uh you can look at your bait box, your tackle box, and it'll say that which has increased activity. Right now, today is bungee day on week seven, so it'd be a bit different if you watch a different time. But as you can see here, uh, EDZ, Throne, Road, Th Throne World, and Nessus has increased uh, odds for an exotic. So if you want to catch an exotic fish, it is best to go ahead and fish in those locations, but it won't be always all three at the same time. So... Uh, if you want to catch an exotic, uh, go fish in that one uh, area. Uh, that is for sure. Now, the last one, which I can't really show, but I, I did make a video about it on how to get it. This is going to be going over the new exotic you can get in Deep Dive, which is Wicked, uh, in, uh, Wicked Implement. Uh, this is the new exotic rifle that came out week 7 today of this recording. And uh, this one, without showing anything uh it, it's hard um but i'll have the video linked in the description in the comments and you can go ahead and watch it or you can watch some other video that's probably better than me explaining it but all you need to do is uh yeah i can't i can't explain this you don't the 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 main the scary requirement is people if you need all the three exotic fish you don't need it at least somebody if somebody has uh these three blades here which is by catching exotic fish in the three different ponds you see broken blades have been claimed from EDZ, Thermal Nessus. Um, that is only only one person in the fire team needs it. If you don't have that, that's fine. You're going to make sure you find somebody who is willing to go ahead and do it for you. I'll put the blades in it and it works together to finish it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the title. Uh, not, not as bad. The hardest part is, I think, in my opinion, the scout rifle. If you don't have a good way to uh, do it, I think. Um, but other than that, the rest are pretty simple. It's probably just 20 things to do <laughs> with these challenges over here. Or I guess 18 because there is an overlap here. And overlap, I guess, yeah, now it's 16 because overlap of the reset. Um, and I guess overlap here, so 15. I don't know. Now I'm just counting down here. But other than that, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully I can make this. It's a pretty long video as always, but hopefully I'm able to explain it. If you have any more questions, then you can ask below in the comments. If I miss anything, don't be afraid to correct me. Uh, but I do this for every single title that comes out that I can unlock and do until I get it on the first day. Next title from this recording will be Solstice title. Yay.